Good afternoon, Dodgers Nation. Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For up-to-the-minute Dodgers news, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation questions of the day. One, do you think the Dodgers signing of Neftali Feliz is going to be something, nothing, Thing or everything, do you think he'll have an impact with the Dodgers this season? And two, when Corey Seager gets back and he's healthy, do the Dodgers have the best lineup in Major League Baseball? Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. And three, how do you feel about Victor Gonzalez? Will he ever be the same pitcher that he was last season? Got some news on him in just a second. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So lots of news and notes with your Los Angeles Dodgers today. Early this morning, Bob Nightingale reported that the Dodgers signed Neftali Feliz to a minor league deal. Nightingale tweet out, the Dodgers are signing veteran reliever Neftali Feliz, 33, to a minor league contract. The former 2010 AL Rookie of the Year and All-Star pitched two games for the Phillies this year before being released. So here's a scoop on Neftali Feliz. You probably remember him when he was with the Texas Rangers. He was hitting triple digits had one of the most electric, explosive fastballs coming out of the bullpen in Major League Baseball. He had such a promising future. He won Rookie of the Year. Unfortunately, his career has been derailed by injuries. Now, he hadn't pitched since 2017 until he made his comeback this season with the Philadelphia Phillies, but it did not go well. In two appearances coming out of the Phillies bullpen, Phillies recorded only three outs while giving up four earned runs, four hits, and a walk. So, yes, he did not pitch well in his two appearances this season, once against the Marlins and once against the Reds. He pitched a third of an inning against the Marlins, gave up one earned run, two hits, and then against the Reds, he went two-thirds of an inning and gave up three earned runs, a home run, and two hits. He also allowed a walk in that one, but he didn't get very many opportunities. They were throwing him into these high leverage situations when he probably wasn't ready for that just quite yet, and also he was lighting it up in AAA. Feliz had a 1-2-6 ERA, 23 strikeouts to six walks and 14 to thirds innings pitched for triple a lehigh valley earlier this season so those are solid numbers so if nothing else he'll provide some depth and give the dodgers a guy that they can use in case some more injuries start to pile up now your next question is how's that heater because when he was on that fastball was one of the best in major league baseball and this year he averaged 95.6 miles per hour on 27 heaters he threw it 79.4 percent of the time so it's not triple digits. It's not extra explosive like it was at his peak. It's not even 97 anymore, but he can still reach up there and go and get it when he needs it. To me, it's all about finding that command, getting that confidence back, and I trust this Dodgers organization to try to optimize what he has left in his career. So hopefully we get another Phil Bigford and not a Nate Jones, but I see this as a classic Andrew Friedman, low-risk, high-reward signing. They're going to see what they have in him, and the way that things have been going this year from the injury front, I think there's a decent chance he'll pitch in the show for the Dodgers this season. So hopefully they found another guy that can contribute. They like that velocity. I know that's probably why they signed him. So let's hope that he does well with the Dodgers. But let me know down below in the comments section, will the signing of Feliz be something, nothing, or everything? I want your takes down below. Now, the next significant update was about Corey Seager. The 2020 World Series MVP has been out since mid-May after he got hit by a Ross Detweiler fastball, broke his hand and we've had some setbacks in his rehab and there was some concern that we might not even see him back until August well we got some good news from Dave Roberts today here's Doc's update on Corey Seager he has um, I saw him in the cage uh, the last couple days uh, hitting off the uh, coat um, so it's been good I think he was up to 40 swings the last couple days uh, so that's a good thing. Um, you know, our expectation is sometime shortly after the break, he'll be active and, and, and taking a best to get ready to be active with us sometime shortly after the break. 
So a very encouraging update there from Dave Roberts regarding Corey Seager. Let's hope he can get healthy, get back in that line of finer rhythm, and just stay healthy for the rest of the year because it's going to be big for himself and the Dodgers. The Dodgers, they need him to be productive like he was last season and help carry this offense along with the other stars up and down this lineup. And then he wants to put up some big numbers as he enters free agencies. Now, the good thing is the Dodgers are winning again. They're just a half game back in the NL West. So that affords them some time to be patient with his rehab, not rush him back. Because I think that's the most important thing. Make sure that when he is back, that he stays back and they don't rush it because he's got a lot on the line. Now, the next big story today was Victor Gonzalez. The Dodgers announced just minutes ago that they placed left-handed relief pitcher Victor Gonzalez on the injured list with left plantar fasciitis. Now, yesterday wasn't Vigon's best day. The Dodgers trailing 42 in the top of the eighth. They found a way to tie it at four. And then the bottom of the eighth, he gave up a home run to Jose Alfaro. The Marlins ended up winning the game. And he just hasn't looked like the same Victor Gonzalez this year. If you look at his numbers, last season, a 1-3-3 ERA, a 3-23 ERA plus. This year, a 2-5-7 ERA, a 147 ERA plus. The walks are up. The strikeouts are down. The whip has gone from a .738 to a 1-3-5-7. So, so maybe Victor Gonzalez has been dealing with injuries this season. Maybe he hasn't been 100% because there's been a real drop-off in his effectiveness, and you can see it out there. And they need to find a way to get him right because he's got to be that high-leverage lefty coming out of the Dodgers bullpen. Now, theoretically, they could move Julio to the bullpen if they trade for another starter. And considering all the innings that he's thrown this season, maybe that's something they consider later on down the line. But they need him as a weapon coming out of that bullpen. And maybe in the long run, this will be the best thing for Victor Gonzalez when we talk about how he fares in the postseason. Now, more news. The Dodgers have DFA'd Steven Souza Jr. and called up right-handed pitcher Jake Reed. Now, you remember back on June 4th, the Dodgers signed him to a minor league contract. And so far, he's pitched well at AAA Oklahoma City. In 10 and a third innings, he has a 2-6-1 ERA with 11 strikeouts and just one walk. And with the injuries, with all the bullpen games, it makes a lot of sense to make this move if you're the Dodgers. But let me know down below in the comments section. Do you think the signing of Feliz will be something, nothing, or everything? Do you think he'll have an impact for the Dodgers this season? And do you think the Dodgers should go out and trade for a reliever? Are there some guys you want to see the Dodgers go after? Drop those names down below in the comments section. I got a top 10 relievers the Dodgers should trade for coming out later this week. So if you want to include some names, I'll include it in the video. But my name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Tell your friends, tell your family, any Dodger fans you know, tell them about the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel and tell them to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. And if you want to see more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all latest Dodgers Nation merch, head over to gearup.la. Some of the best Dodgers t-shirt designs in the game. You're going to find it right over there at www.gearup.la. For the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.